All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the angle of attack um, of the wing. Now, um, it is not recommended that you change the angle of attack using the computational domain. The best way to do this is to actually change the angle of attack of your wing before you do the flow simulation. So what I did here is I created a new project. So I'm going to, you know, rename it. Um, uh, is there a way I can rename it? Maybe not, but you know, even you know, when you oh, I can. So I'm going to remake, rename it as angle of attack two. And then just click OK. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools. Oh, maybe inserts. Um, go to um, go to features, right, and then go to move or copy, right. Now, select the entire surface right there, and I'm, you see you can change the angle of attack so now I'm going to put it at two degrees and then click OK right and then click yes and then yes and all that now for this angle of attack case 2 you know this is going to be my computational domain I can edit definition and you know I can change it any way I want right exactly kind of what we did the last time right so make sure um, that you change the angle of attack before you do the computation domain and basically this is everything same to you know you can go back and look at the first video to show how to do this all right so that's how you change the angle of attack um, when you run the simulations so remember and i expect you to do at least four uh, angle of attack so i would do uh, two four six eight or zero two uh, four six so whatever you know you can do more uh, provided if you have time okay all right guys that's it.